I'm Karen Elgisma at the Victoria Public Market at the Hudson, about to discover home cooked Mexican food. And you're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. On today's show, a brand new gym that's innovative and one of a kind. Suchetta Singh gives us the 411 on a magazine that will help connect people in a big way. And we head to Port Alberni for a Sweeney Todd kind of experience. All that and so much more on Go Island. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Hola! We are at the Victoria Public Market today. That's right, Go Island has a love affair with this market. And why? Because every time I come here, there is something new and something different. And I get so excited because I do love food and I love Mexican food. And Olympia, I am so excited about your new place here, La Cochina de Mama Oli, because not only does it always smell so dang fine when I walk by, but it's so beautiful and colorful. Who are you and what do you guys do? <laughs> Mama Oli is a kitchen that tries to reproduce a normal Mexican kitchen. Whatever you find in a house in Mexico is reproduced here. No fancy food, everything down to earth. We make everything from scratch as your mom will do it. You can find here chicken soup all the time. You can find red rice, the steak, I mean, carne, all taquitos, everything you can imagine in a normal regular house so you're invited and that is what we're all craving isn't it is to have home cooked food but then when you add the Mexican bit in it's like sexy home cooked food and that is what I'm talking about tell me some of the dishes here that have become already quite popular for people who come to the market every day well actually it surprised to me that this simple little thing that which is a quesadilla a normal homemade handmade tortilla because we do handmade them yes our salsa is too well quesadilla which is a melted cheese inside a tortilla has been a big success and we're gonna make also churros with hot chocolate we have all the taquitos steak taquitos pork taquitos, chicken taquitos. You did such a beautiful job, Olympia, of making this place so colorful and warm. Um, what, you're, when you were designing it, what did you want people to feel when they came here? I wanted a piece of Mexico here. I mean, I am so away from my country that I wanted to bring a little piece of Mexico here. So I did try to reproduce that. And well, I'll invite you to come and you tell me what I did here. And of course, the tiles uh, are from Mexico. Everything. And I, I came by when you were putting them all together. And uh, you've got a, a picture, a painting of, uh, of Frida, of Frida which of course, you know, is the one of the one of the one of the great women of Mexico. So it really is like a home here. Uh, yeah, it's it's home. Um, please, um, if you want to see Frida, uh, and it's a monster over there. So I wanted to bring something from Mexico to give you. I love that. Well, we're going to go into the kitchen in just a minute, um, but before we do that, we are going to go to the latest, hottest, neatest gym that just opened up. This gym is the first of its kind in British Columbia, and I hope it leads the way. I let uh, I'll let Paul explain it all to you. Thanks for that story, Paul. Now we may be cold outside, baby, but here at the Victoria Public Market, it is hot like salsa right here at one of the new restaurants at the market at the Hudson. Um, this kitchen does smell like a home cooking kind of kitchen. Olympia, what are, we, what are we cooking in this kitchen right now as we look around? Oh, right now, please come and see the hand, handmade tortillas. Handmade tortillas. Please come and have this treat, and we're making the, our roasted salsa. Yes. And we just finished cochinita pibil. And this is our um, hot chocolate that we made in the traditional way. We just melt the chocolate here, and we make the foam. And this is our churros that we're making right now. Churros and hot chocolate. Please come and eat with us. I am starving and I had breakfast about 45 minutes ago. That's what it's like here. When you talk about traditional home-cooked food, what are the key ingredients in Mexico that you use 
that always has to be a staple in the kitchen in a Mexican yeah. kitchen. Always, always, always. Tomatoes, chiles, cebollas, onions, sorry. <laughs> Ajo, which is the garlic, and cilantro. Always, okay. always have that. And of course, chicken broth. Chicken broth. How about avocados? Oh yes, of course, for our wonderful uh, guacamoles, yes, you gotta have avocados. And they're from Mexico, I completely recommend them. They are full of vitamins and then you don't get fat in with this food, really. I promise, except with churros. Yes, you have to be this careful just, with the churros. Be careful with the churros, but it's, this is just a treat, okay? You don't eat them so much, but everything else is really not gonna make you fat because we take care of that in this kitchen. And you can tell because take a look at this beautiful woman, thin as a rail, <laughs> and yet she eats this food all the time. Oh yes, she does. Now you made me a little cup of ginger tea. Tell me about this. Oh, the ginger tea, well, this is an old recipe from Canada. I just adopted it because I think it's a beautiful, wonderful tea for your health. And it's just ginger, plain ginger tea with a little bit of honey and lemon. Um, I think the lemon is my addition, so this is a very Mexican-Canadian uh, uh, dish so so it, it's like it's like the best of both countries and what I love is they serve all their meals when you eat here on China oh yes that's because you've come to Libya's kitchen uh, we're gonna taste some of this delicious food in just a moment uh, but before we do that Sacheta Singh has a really amazing story for us now of course Olympia you came here from Mexico and you know what it's like to come to a new country you need to find a place to live a place to work a new doctor, a dentist, and there's a magazine out there that hopes to help people with this transition. You caught me in the act I'm eating here at Mama Oli. Uh, thanks for that story, Sucheta Singh. We are at one of the hottest uh, restaurants that just opened here at the Victoria Public Market. It's home-cooked Mexican food. Olympia, what have you made for me? That is cochinita pibil, which is a very common dish from the south of Mexico. It's made with the chiote seeds and uh, pico onions. That's just simple dish. Oh my word, and that's insane. Wanna, and if you want to try this red rice. Oh, okay, if you insist. Red oh. rice and refried beans with avocado. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. That was unbelievable, my gosh. <laughs> wow. That does not taste like the refried beans I get out of a can at all, <laughs> at all. And this, of course, is the hot chocolate. We are gonna continue to eat all this delicious home-cooked food. Now, my friends, when you take a look at this, what do you think? Mustache, maybe? Well, yes. Right after the break, we are going to have a very hilarious Movember story from Port Alberni for our very own in-house comic. Jose, and uh, more tasty food right here at the Victoria Public Market at Mama Oli. So stay with us. Welcome back to Go Island. We're here at the Victoria Public Market. It is just uh, buzzing here today. There are people setting up tables, uh, customers are loading up, there's Christmas shopping going on. But the, the star of the show today is Mama Ali. They have this beautiful spread of home cooked Mexican food. Olympia, tell us some of the, the stars on the table right here that we have. What's, go, what's on the table? Oh, happy to show you. I'm gonna, I wanna start with the homemade tortillas. We yeah. do make our own tortillas here. Always fresh, please come and eat them. And then we have tostadas. This is our ground beef. This is our signature here, the refried beans. They are awesome. They are and, awesome. And our breakfast, which is um, ham, scrambled ham and scrambled chorizo. Nice. Red rice. We make our salsas definitely oh, here. A roasted bread and green tomatoes. Our chicken soup. It's and this is our cochinita. Unbelievable. And of course, for dessert, we have da 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 da. Not a mustache, but a uh, churro. Churro. These taste so so good. And uh, as I do look at it, as it really does remind me of a little mustache. It also reminds me of our very own Jose, who has a Sweeney Todd Movember story for you from Port Alberni. This is what I like to do with mustaches, Jose. Eat it. <laughs> Eat it. Especially when you are with a chef. 
as talented as you. Now tell me about these drinks that you offer here at Mamali. Okay, in Mexico before the age of the sodas, we used to have the fresh waters, we are, which are made with uh, natural fruit and water and a little bit of sugar. And this is today, this is horchata. It's very famous in Mexico because it's refreshing and good. Horchata is strawberry water. And this is our mandarin water. It's made out of fresh fruits every single day. So instead of sodas, I will invite you to come and taste these wonderful things that This have. is so good. It's a good, exactly. Oh my gosh, this, is, this, kind of, this tastes like the kind of strawberry milkshake kind of flavor that you had when you were a kid. Oh my gosh, that's good. Mm. We, um, we're going to continue to hang out here in uh, Olympia's Kitchen, which you are invited to every day here at the Victoria Public Market at the Hudson. Uh, but we do have to take a short break, but stay with us. When we come back, we are going to taste a few more of these delectable, tasty treats. And this week in BC is taking a look at the bad news that many of us just received from the BC government about the ferries. Cutting, uh, cutting the free rides for seniors, uh, cutting all sorts of different routes. Uh, this is a very, very important topic for us Vancouver Islanders, so stay with us. We are here enjoying a feast of food at Mama Oli at the Victoria Public Market. And now you're going to make me what? I'm yeah. going to make a taquito. A taquito is very simple. You just get a tortilla and put whatever you want on it. In this case, I have ground beef here. So let's use ground beef. This is a taquito. We can garnish with the lettuce, the cabbage, anything you want, and then the sauce of your preference. Okay, what do you what, what do you suggest? Well, I always like roasted. Green and roasted are the best for okay. me. So you, you go ahead, you go ahead, ma'am. And then just put some red sauce on top and then enjoy it. All right, I'm going to That's try this. Oh my taquito. God. Well, I want to thank you so much. Thank Not you. only for hanging out with us today and making all this home-cooked, delicious, healthy food, but for taking a chance on this market because a lot of people were scared that it would be a big risk to come here and open up, but you took a chance. It is not only delicious and smells amazing, but it's so festive here. It's like taking a little trip to Mexico. Um, and I want to thank you for watching. If you have any thoughts, feedback, or ideas, let us know. And if you haven't been to the Victoria Public Market yet, come here in Buen Provecho. Absolutely. Christmas is here at the market. It's so fun. Thanks for watching. How do you say uh, goodbye in Spanish? Hasta pronto. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network, Men's Wardrobe by DG Bremner & Co., Menswear and Accessories, Hair Services provided by Salon J.